Hey everybody, it's Ben here. I just wanted to make a short DIY Halloween video. Ah! Uh, I just want to show you how to build this thing. So uh, let's come in close and we'll take a look at some of the details on this recycled trash can pop-up scaring device. Okay, here's a top view. Woo! Very scary, right? We got some lights down there. We got a pop-up scully face. Very, very frightening. Uh, basically, this is all 12 volt and it's using materials that I already had. Okay, so without this inside the garbage can, it's a little easier to see. Basically, it's an air cylinder hooked up to a remotely controlled 12 volt DC air valve, and that's controlled by a light sensor. So if I cover that light sensor, woo, there goes the head. It shoots up, it turns on some lights, and it also provides some power that I had a radio hooked up to this, so we had a, uh, some noise as an element here too. So let's come on in close and take a look at the components. Now, if this looks a little cobbled together, that's because it is. I literally just threw it together the day before Halloween. Let's uh, follow our path. To start with, we've got an air hose that's just going to a, a, a typical air compressor, and then I'm using the regulator on the air compressor to bring it down to about 25 PSI. This right here is our air valve. Um, air, whoops, and there's our light sensor. So um, air comes in through here and then power comes into the valve here. So when you give that 12 volts of power, it opens up that valve and it allows air to go through to here up to the cylinder. When it releases, air can come uh, back through out this other port over here. So it's a, it's a very basic air valve. Uh, over here, this is just a 12 volt power supply. I do have a, a small fuse, just a 5 amp DC fuse on there. Always good to have fuses. And then up in here, uh, these are two relay boards. Um, I did not build these. These are kind of standalone things. They're about five or six dollars each on uh, eBay or Amazon.com. The top one is a light sensor. So all it is is a relay. We give it 12 volts power and then send a signal to it with this little doohickey comes right with it. That's just a little light sensor. Um, so it's set to sense dark. So for example, it would turn on a light when it's dark out. But if I just cover this up from light, it activates. Um, and then I've got the output of the light sensor going down to the timer. So basically the timer um, turns power on to the, to the valve and then it counts down for a couple of seconds and then it releases power and the air comes back out. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, I also have these two lights. Uh, those are also wired up to that relay. Uh, let's take a look at the air valve. I just have a brick to hold the whole thing down. This is all built together on a piece of plywood. Uh, two pieces of two by fours coming up from it. I have screws on the bottom from the plywood up into these. And then those two uh, two by fours are screwed together. Um, so they make a kind of a nice corner to put this air cylinder in. I have that screwed in place using three quarter inch uh, conduit uh, hold downs. Now, if I take the mask off of here, you can see all it is is it's a, it's a windshield washer fluid container. And it just has a hole drilled through the top and the end of the rod connects into there. So the rod slides up and down with that on top. Very, very simple. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Uh, here, this is the secondary air valve. When this goes back down, air comes out here. That's uh, just acting as an exhaust port in this case. Okay, so by now the other question you're probably asking is how do I trigger this specifically when somebody walks by so they get scared? Uh, what I did is I set this up by a door where people were going into a Halloween party. It was also in an area where the garbage cans are normally kept, so it was kind of camouflaged. People were surprised because they expected to see regular garbage cans there anyways, only oh no, it pops up and startles them. Uh, the sensor on here is really designed to go off when it senses uh, dark. So what I did is I put the light sensor inside just a short little piece of PVC tube uh, and then I wrapped uh, some electrical tape to hold it in place and then I fired a laser into the end of the tube and because it's white the laser kind of bounces around in there so basically there's always some laser light shining on that sensor and when somebody breaks that beam uh, then this detects dark and 
the head pops out of the trash can. Now for the laser, all I used was one of these little teeny tiny um, laser diodes. You can get, it's uh, like a laser pointer diode, very cheap. You know, you can get a bag of these for like uh, 50 cents per laser diode. Um, it is five volt, and I, I just took an old USB cable, cut the end off, um, hot glued the two wires on there, hot glued the diode to a clothespin. That way I was able to just stick this onto a stake in the ground, point the laser so that it would shine into the end of the tube, and then I had to set up right next to the garbage can. Now, it wasn't mounted to the garbage can because it shakes around quite a bit, so I had it uh, jammed under a brick right next to it. That worked pretty well. Now on the garbage can, all I did was I screwed in a little block of wood to have something solid to put a hinge into, uh, and then the same on the lid. So now the plastic lid is hinged to the plastic garbage can, and that's the back. And I was originally hoping to design this so that the head would pop up, the can would open all the way, um, but it would be kind of held back by like some string. And then when the head would go back in, I'd have another piece of string that would just pull the lid back down. Uh, it didn't really work all that well. And I think the reason why is just that this plastic is kind of floppy. I think a metal garbage can would work better. But like I said, I was just using what I had. Uh, the other thing that I found worked really well is to actually just restrict the travel of the lid. So I used some rope or thick thread string, whatever you want to call this so that the trash can lid could only open about this far. That way the head would go pop to about here and stop. When it would go back down, uh, gravity would lower the lid. That seemed to work really well. The other nice thing is it limited the travel of the rod, because with most of those air rods, you don't want them shooting all the way up to the end. Um, it's a little bit of wear and tear on them. A little better to have them restricted by something else. So that's basically it. It's a pretty straightforward Halloween prop. Uh, it's kind of the first uh, automatic Halloween prop that I've built. Certainly there's room for improvement. This is not an original idea. Lots of people have done variations on this. Uh, look for a lot of those on Instructables. There's uh, some authors making some really good instructions on doing similar things. Uh, a couple other things I could do here. Uh, we could set it up to run on a passive infrared sensor. We could set this all up to run off of an Arduino, for example. Uh, Arduino also opens up some other cool things for maybe playing like random sounds, things like that. Uh, Bear Conductive makes a neat little device called the Touchboard that uh, it's sort of like a little uh, MIDI controller and you can control that with an Arduino. So every time this pops up, maybe it plays back a scream or possibly different random scary noises when it comes up. Uh, another thing I was thinking is one thing that's not perfect about this is there's nothing keeping the head from just kind of spinning around randomly. Uh, so if I do like a fancier version of this next year, what I might do is like a pair of drawer slides on either side of the head inside the garbage can. So the air ram is just going to provide the power, but those door slides can hold um, a, a heavier load. Um, it'll keep it from twisting, spinning, anything like that. Uh, we could do some other fun things like LED light up eyes, things like that. Um, so anyways, that's my pop-up garbage can head. Uh, you know, take a look at the link in the video for more information on the project and have fun this and every Halloween.